Today we're looking at communicable and non-communicable diseases for the disease topic. So first of all, looking at communicable diseases. Um, communicable diseases are those which can be passed directly from person to person. They could be caught or they could be infectious diseases. For example, HIV could be caught through unprotected sexual encounter. Non-communicable diseases are those which are not directly transmitted from person to person. An example would be heart disease, stroke, cancer, kidney disease, diabetes and types of dementia. You can't catch these kinds of diseases by sitting next to someone. What may surprise you as a drugother is that the pattern for mortality of these two disease types has just been revealed by the WHO in their recent survey. 71% of all deaths are from non-communicable diseases and 29% are from communicable diseases, the ones that you can catch and are transmitted person to person. So what are the most significant non-communicable diseases globally? The answer is cardiovascular disease, that includes heart diseases, secondly cancers, um, thirdly diabetes and also respiratory diseases, very um, important in terms of global mortality. So 71% of people, people dying are dying from the non-communicable diseases. What is it that's leading to these deaths? Um, and the answer is, it's lifestyle factors. Tobacco, alcohol, foods which are high in fat and high in sugar, and physical inactivity are the lifestyle factors which tend to lead to increased risk of developing all those diseases. So by contrast, communicable diseases are things that can be caught... Um, and the most important one is the chest infection here, um, which in advanced countries and EDCs is often treated through antibiotics, which are given orally or intravenously. Diarrhea is the second most important. 2,000 children um, in our world die every day from diarrhea. And it's the second most important cause of death in children under five because children become so rapidly dehydrated if they catch um, diarrheal disease like the rotavirus. Malaria also still a major killer. Um, around 400,000 people each year die from it. A small relative to the number infected, but still too many. So the risk factors for communicable diseases are very different from those for the non-communicable diseases. Firstly, a lack of clean drinking water, which could be contaminated with bacteria or viruses. Um, secondly, a lack of sewage treatment, lack of separation from the foul water, from the fresh water. Um, thirdly, um, a lack of availability of basic drugs like antibiotics and basic vac vaccines like measles vaccine. And fourthly, malnutrition. Here you see the diet of many millions of children maybe just eating rice and so lacking the micronutrients which are needed to prevent malnutrition and stunting in those children. Geographers are interested in patterns, they're also interested in those patterns and change over time. So here on the y-axis we've got mortality rate and on the x-axis we've got time. If we look at first of all at the red line which shows communicable diseases, um, you can see that these start high, high and then they're over time these decrease to a low point here. We have just a very few countries in the world, our LIDC countries, um, based on the World Bank method of low, classifying low income. The LIDC countries um, are mainly still focused in sub-Saharan Africa. An example would be the country of Burkina Faso. Um, in that country, we're still getting most deaths occurring from respiratory disease, malaria and diarrhoea and HIV as the top causes of death. As we move along in terms of time and development, we come to a point where countries experience half their mortality coming from the non-communicable diseases and half coming from the communicable diseases. Because as a country becomes wealthier, we'll often invest more in new vaccination campaigns that become more efficient in delivering health services. And those lifestyle factors, which we looked at in the non-communicable disease slide, will start to kick in. So a country in the middle here would be a country like Egypt, that's having to deliver um, a support for people with non-communicable diseases and communicable diseases. And those countries are described as having a double burden in terms of their health service and health service provision. 
And finally, we have many uh, countries that are moving into a position where almost all of their disease burden is from communicable um so we can see that countries like uh, China, for example, um, now has almost all of its um, uh, mortalities arising from stroke, heart disease, cancer. Um, those are non-communicable diseases. It's already gone through a transition and its types of diseases that are causing the main mortality have changed over time. Let's review our understanding. 71% of deaths on earth are due to communicable diseases and the risk factors are tobacco, alcohol, fast food and physical inactivity often leading to obesity. By contrast 29% are due to communicable diseases and here the risk factors are very different. Lack of clean water, lack of sanitation, poor provision of medical supplies including antibiotics and vaccinations and finally a lack of good nutrition leading to malnutrition and stunting especially in children.